Good afternoon, January the 5th, 2016. Time to wrap up today's trading and all of the markets. E-mini is still grinding sideways. Uh, hasn't really broken out uh, one way or the other. Uh, came in today. Our number two sell band was 9 to 14, sell 2. Uh, we blew right through our number one sell band, which was basically right here. Didn't have a chance to get short off of that. Uh, we were hoping to buy 90 to 92. The buys turned out to be, uh, we had support at 2,000. So we had a 95 minus market, uh, 2,010 plus as the market kind of moved sideways. Haven't really broken out of range. If we uh, aren't able to trade uh, through 2013, 2015 and change that from resistance to support, then this market is still set to trade lower. Uh, the trading uh, that came today, and again, just not discriminating against any trade. Uh, some good trading uh, before the uh, day session open. A little V top here was a small winner for two points. A V bottom would have been a nice winner. If you took this RTF trade right here, that was definitely a loser. Uh, this S, this retest failure trade, uh, produced a winning trade. This S produced a winning trade. This V bottom, a winning trade. This S set up off the software, winning trade. A V bottom trade here, winning trade. A V top, are these two S's a winning trade. A V bottom, scratch, small winning trade. Uh, this S right here, uh, scratch, small loser, depending on where your stop was. This B, a winner, mean green trade, a winner, V bottom. And a V bottom, V tops are really turning out to be just really, really good trades for us. This V top trade, at least a scratch. Uh, v bottom, a winner, V top, a nice winner, and a scratch. So couple of losers. Um, if you weren't discriminating um, and being selective on the trades that you took, if you just took them as they came up, really, really, really a pretty good day trading, all things said and done. And the other thing is, is that why do V-bottom trades work these days? And it comes right from the screen. You can see that everybody is a buyer or seller simultaneously. Every uh, volume category is. And that's what gives you these turns on a dime. And it, it makes for schizophrenic trading. It does not make for comfortable trading at all uh, because the market um, doesn't produce follow through in the traditional sense. So what do we look for tomorrow? I think the um, big picture stuff is as long as we stay below this uh, 2041 area, the market can sell. Uh, they got a low volume number at 33. Down below, we have a low volume number at 45. Right now, you can see that we're building volume in this high volume area in the 97 area. Um, so we have a lower high and a lower low than yesterday. The screen says, well, we don't have a lower low. We've got a lower. Uh, this is an inside day. That means we can trade it from either side. So we can buy the 90 to 95 area, and we can sell the 2010 to 2015 area as it uh, sets up. We always go to the F1 screen first and if they're in a grants time frame show the same thing. It makes for a stronger trade. Okay, we have a P today with volume above time. So we can get long to retest the uh, resistance in the 2015 area. Uh, conversely, uh, we can get short if 2015 holds as resistance. And we're still looking for a move out of the middle, out of this 2005 area. Uh, so if the market was to close right here at 2008.50, uh, we'd be selling uh, 12s to 15s, sell one. And then the second area that we would pick up, we'd be selling the 23.26 area for sell two. On the buy side, last rotate down stopped at basically the buck, so 99 to 01 for buy one. And buy two would be 90 to 92 for buy two. We do have news tomorrow uh, that could impact the trading. We also have news on Friday, non-farm payrolls. 
that will impact the trading. And we'll go over those numbers here in just a moment. Okay, tomorrow's ADP report. They're looking for uh, a build of 190. That would support the uh, Fed's idea that uh, the economy is okay. Trade balance, minus 44. PMI services, markets PMI services, don't know what that is. The old number was 56.2. ISM services is um, 56.2. Crude inventories, don't know yet. So the focus is going to be the ADP number. Number one, and then number two will be ISM services, and the Fed would like to see this number hold the 56 area to keep their uh, current uh, economic scenario intact, which is really at odds. Uh, everybody's lowering their uh, guesstimates for uh, 2016. The Fed has lowered their estimates for the economy every year since 2008. And I remember a couple of uh, GDP estimates, uh, quarterly uh, assessments by the Fed uh, ago that all Zero Hedge has. You know, the Fed's been wrong 51 times in a row. Will they be right on their 52nd estimate? And uh, economic forecasting is difficult, no doubt. But for them to come in and tell us with authority that the economy is going up or down, they haven't made one of their forecasts yet. Uh, they've always been on the optimistic side. Okay, inside day on F1 for uh, the note. That implies a or suggests that we'll have a trading range tomorrow. Taking a look at the uh, F2 screen on the uh, ten-year P shape, pretty square inside the um, congestion area, but it's definitely a P shape. So uh, if the market was to close right here at the eight level, uh, we'd be looking to sell 11s to 15s, sell one. 19 to 23, sell 2. Uh, on the buy side, we'd be trying to buy the uh, buck to 04, buy 1, then 24 to 28 for buy 2. Uh, whichever way the E mini trades tomorrow, we should trade opposite. If the numbers come in as forecast, ISM services, ADP, employment report, it would be a negative for treasuries. Looking at the 30 year, this is a great contract for some of you that are looking at a mar looking for market that honors support and resistance and uh, does trade fundamentals. Uh, it, it's, it's a good contract and it's got volatility to boot. All the things that you look for in a spec account. Uh, looking at this, because the knob spread contracted today, it came in quite a bit. This is a B. This one favors the sell side. Um, so our first buy on this contract. We rejected prices below 20. So we're going to try 17s to 13s for buy one. Then one to five for buy two. On the sell side, last rotate up stopped at 30. Then at the buck, we're at 23, so 27 to 31 is sell one, and 7 to 11 is sell two. The mini sells, we do not want to be short treasuries. at gold. Uh, the news if as forecast tomorrow inside day here suggests a trading range also on gold. Uh, that would be negative for gold. Structures leaning B. 
Uh, so this one favors the sell. Uh, 79 to 81, sell one. We lowered it from our 80 to 82 by a buck. 84, 86, sell two. On the buy side, we had a 73, 75. Let's make it 70, 72 because it is pointed lower for buy one, 65, 67 for buy two. Looking at crude oil, lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it. And uh, a lot of the guessing is that if uh, tensions continue to escalate between Iran and Saudi Arabia, and if it actually goes hot, they start shooting at each other, then they need money to finance their operations against each other, sell crude, more supply, and they will fight for market share. Okay, here's your break in the market, 36.25. You can see that this H or I high right here out of the middle, depending which one you put it on, came out of that 25 area. So selling 25 to 50 is sell one. Sell two is 6.75 to 37 even. On the buy side, looks like we're headed a little lower, so stops below 35.50, 35 and a quarter, 35.50 buy one. Then 35 even, 34, 75, stops below 35. Now we said we've been pointed to 35 for a long time to get a retest to that area. And after that, I don't know. The guy that had the hottest hand, and it's kind of like random. You know, some analyst is going to get a price forecast is correct. Uh, has said crude will bottom in 2016 in the 32 area. Not going to go for 20 bucks. It's hard to see how I could get to 20 bucks. Uh, without a change in the fundamentals it's obvious to everybody like Saudi Arabia jumping up and down and screaming we're going to bury you uh, we're gonna kill you economically we're gonna take the price of oil down to 20 bucks it would take something like that given the economics and the cost of production etc So stops below 35, I think getting covering your shorts against 35 is a 30, pretty good play on the way down. Market acts like it wants to go lower, or is acting that way. And last but not least, the euro. Lower high, lower low, find a place to sell it. That matches the, their central bank policies, too. Okay, we have a P put in backwards. A P put in backwards is profit taking. People are covering their shorts. So we rejected prices below 107.41 and we're at 65. So our first buy is going to be the 740, 750 buy one. Buy two is going to be 725. On the uh, sell side, 107.75. Uh, is resistance at sell one, then back up to where we wanted to get it done today, sell two. Um, tomorrow's forecast for our economic numbers, uh, factory orders minus 2% uh, would be the most bullish piece of news for the euro. PMI ISM services at 56.2 would be a negative. Uh, ADP employment report at 190 would be a negative for the euro. 107.75 is very aggressive. I would not have a resting limit order out there to sell. That number blindly, I'd wait to see what happens. A resting limit sell against 108, I could do that. Like a 107.98, 107.99. And somebody will take profits against 108 the first time into it. That's it for... 
January the 5th, 2016. I will see you bright and early at the morning. 6.45 a.m. Central. Y'all have a great evening. I'm out of here.